Put it on the sheet. <laughs> Are you making cookies? Good job. Are you going to put the rest on there? Oh, that was smart. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, we wanted to talk today about parenting styles. We won't be participating in, I guess you could say, or what we will will not be doing. Um, I got this video idea from Nicole Lula Green. I'll link her channel down below. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, Five things we're not gonna do. Yeah, disclaimer. We are not parenting experts. We understand this could be, some of this could be a little controversial, but this is just what we're trying with Knox and what seems to be working well for us so far. And if you disagree or agree, let your voice be heard. Yeah, and if you have any <laughs> tips or other ideas, let your voice be heard. Because um, we're learning, obviously. We're new All to right. this. <clears throat> Number one, we're trying to not do everything for him. Yes. Um, this one is something we've pretty much been doing since he started getting mobile-ish around like probably six months. Um, we kind of like to sit back and let him figure things out on his own which is kind of known as the Montessori approach that we loosely follow. We try to use a lot of like hands-on textile, is that the right word? Toys? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Wooden toys, <clears throat> things like that. Um, imagination toys, uh, we don't do a lot of electronics with him. I would say like his main electronic thing is just when he watches TV. Most for anything with like feeding himself, climbing stairs, uh, telling us when he's hungry. Um, yeah, we just, I think it's why his motor skills are developed where they are. And it also has helped him with his vocabulary, which leads us to point number two. We, from the beginning, before he was even born, told each other that we did not want to do baby talk with him. So we don't make up weird nicknames for things. Um, what do people say? Like, what do they call the milk, the bottle or something? Like a lot of people call bottle baba. We've okay. never... That just seems so stupid. We've never done that, and I know it can be <laughs> it can be really easy to make up nicknames. Like I even caught myself like one time when he was making a dog sound saying, Yes, wolf wolf, that's a dog. Like doing things like that, but I don't want him to call a dog a wolf wolf kind of thing. Um, so just using real names, real words, and we went to his 18 month checkup recently and his vocabulary is way above where it needs to be and I think that is because we talk to him like a mini adult. Yeah, <clears throat> hopefully it gives him a little advantage in life yeah. on how to speak sooner rather than later. So. Yes. And the next thing is we like to let him make messes. So for example this morning I woke up with him and we had a yogurt, a bar, and like a bunch of other stuff. And he's just eating it with his hand, like getting it all over. I put a blanket down so it doesn't get on our couch, but the blanket is just like a disgusting mess. It has but to get washed very frequently. He but just like dips his hand in the yogurt and <laughs> puts it in his mouth. And when he takes his spoon in the yogurt, half the time it's backwards. Like he's learning and figuring things out. And I think that allowing him to make messes allows him to use his imagination, has allowed him to figure out how to write and draw feed himself, uh, he he can use a fork. Sometimes he just prefers to use his hand. Well, I think he thinks the hand is faster because yeah. he's not as skilled yet with the fork. <laughs> yeah, so we are very pro mess. Um, we do lots of crafts. Um, our dining room table looks like a craft table. It's so stained from paint and stuff, but we just don't care. We want him, you know, that saying, let them be little, and we're making great memories. Um, number four, this is one that we are newly practicing that is hard, um, but we are trying to limit the word no. 
and not in a sense, I feel like when people hear that, they think, oh, you're not gonna discipline, but that's not it. We still are disciplining, is that really discipline? Yeah. <laughs> um, and setting boundaries, but using like actual phrases with him instead of just no, 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 which it's so easy to just hurry and say no, um, especially when it's something that could be dangerous. But we are trying to use phrases like instead of no, stop touching the outlet. We're gonna say like knocks, we don't touch outlets because that can hurt you. Or if he's like hitting Nick or biting Nick, knocks, we don't bite because that hurts others and we don't hurt. And that actually gets him to respond better to us and quit doing what we want him to quit doing better than saying no. If we just say no, he goes no, and then sticks the, <laughs> a pen in the outlet. Yeah, it's like he's, <laughs> getting that no out of you and he's like oh that's kind of funny let me do it again let me push to the limit so like we he goes no bite and it's so funny like i have to try not to laugh so it just really works better when we eliminate the word no because he pays attention to it works more. better for us too yeah and it actually like i think it's smart to talk to them in a phrase other than no because it's teaching them why what you're telling them is important oh yeah point number five and last the last one point is no big reactions. So if he falls down and clocks his head, we try not to go, oh my God, are you okay? Yeah. Like we try to we see wait what for he, his he's gonna do. Yeah. And then of course, if he's crying, you pick him up and console him and stuff. But like if it's a little fall where he just trips over a toy or like, I don't know, trips over a pillow, yeah. like, good luck, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> yeah, and no big reactions can also go into the discipline area too. Like we don't wanna be quick to just yell at him like we all make mistakes even as adults and we want him to always be comfortable coming to us with his mistakes so that way he knows he can trust us and when he's older <laughs> we can avoid some of those uh lies hopefully i mean i know he'll still lie but um just keeping no big reactions helps him learn to cope with things but also helps him learn to trust us yep so those are our five things and i feel like a lot of them our best practices now, but maybe they're not. I'd be interested to see if people are uh, opposed to that or not, but I feel like those are pretty good. Well, I think good. not saying no and being pro mess <laughs> is not the traditional way of parenting. Like it's not the way either one of us grew up really. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, we both turned out fine, but it did make me scared to go to my parents when I did something I wasn't supposed to do, like break something. Or... Yeah, definitely the parents did not uh, like messes. And like accidents, my mom like makes the biggest reactions over stuff and it's just like wow. PTSD. And in modern day parenting, we have so many resources on social media and new books. So it's like not shaming the way we were parented, but it's, we just have newer resources to learn from. So we are trying these methods with knots and they seem to be working out so far. So let us know in the comments below what you do or don't do as a parent. And if, if you've you had like, any experiences with these ideas that we've been practicing or not practicing. If you liked the video, subscribe. Anyways, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And tell us what you would like us to film next.